just another Wednesday. Not just another Wednesday. It's actually a world day. You know, for me, I, I, I post seven days a week. You know, on Wednesdays, it's like world world kind of perspective. Uh, Thursdays is uh, audio drum. That's tomorrow. Uh, then on uh, Friday, I uh, do a, a week, whatever I missed during the week, whatever, something, week thing. Uh, Saturdays is whatever comes to my head. Sundays is whatever comes to my head also, but I usually do a little reading or something. Or something or another. On Mondays is me day. And uh, Tuesdays is U.S. orientated day, right? So we're on World Day. Now, I know everybody's concerned about World War Three. They say World War Three. I call it just, uh, not just, uh, I call it yet another, uh, how do you say, European tribal uh, conflict that wants to involve the rest of the world. I say European, you know, you know what, what the United States is involved. Well, the United States, they're always standing on the side. They're the ones that sort of like egg things on. You know, few things like that, but it's, it's the northern hemisphere. Let's put it that way, because Canada. Well, the northern hemisphere is uh is trying to uh I I, I say they they trying to test out their weapons. They're trying to do tactics that they'll 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 uh, eventually try to apply to the rest of the world, namely the, the so-called well the global south and all the rest of that stuff. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Uh, let, let me give you a, a, an example. Long 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 time ago, I've been doing this for a long, a lo long time ago. I'm saying a bomb. What is a bomb? Say, say a bomb costs a, 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 a missile. Say a missile. A missile costs a million dollars, right? Well, you you say okay, a million dollars missile. Yeah, but you have to understand, they have to test that missile. So for every missile that they do, they might test it like fifty missiles. So that's basically fifty-one million dollars. <laughs> I mean, and, and, anyway. So, so now, what do you do about this? Well, my answer is, is simple. Uh, let me let me take it to the wire. You know, uh, 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 Lance Ruddick, the, the 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 guy that played the police the police chief. You know, you know the one from the one from uh, the John Wick movies. You know, a personal friend to the to uh, to, to, uh, 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 to Professor Daniel. Well, don't worry about it. You know, the point is, he uh, he had a scene with his his, his, his wife. You know, but before he you know, before they parted, he hooked up with the with the white girl, right? Well, and they was having dinner, and he was complaining, you know, because the police chief kind of stuff, you know, police captain kind of stuff. And she was saying, well, all you have to do is just not participate. You know, it was a poignant moment. Everything stopped. You had to think about that, right? He wasn't going to give up his trajectory, but when you think about it, all you have to do, let, let me give you an idea. Let me, say what, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Like, uh, right now, uh, if you're in the battle, you're, you're in the battle. You know, they're, they're bombing you, you got to do it. And believe me, right now, there are no, there are no c civilians are combatants, you know. They, they just, it's, 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 it's no, they normalize that right now. There's no such thing as a, as a civilian in these, in these pitch wars and these, these experimental things that, the, that the, the global north or the, whatever, the power of Europe is doing, right? And they've always, they always test this stuff out. They usually test it on their own people first, and then they bring it to the wider world, or uh, a wider global kind of situation, usually Africa, because they need the minerals and stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, how we how we combat that? There's several reasons. Hey, you know, what I personally like, uh, I mean, aside from reparations, I'll get to that in a second, is the, the uh, sign of United Nations Article 6 petition. Ah, you don't know about that one. It's a it's a petition basically to to, uh, to diminish the, the 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 United States uh, uh, influence in the Uni United Nations. You know, basically to kick the United States out of the UN in the capacity that they that they're in a veto and everything and trying to control everything. And of course, you got the whole thing with BRICS and, and other people. You know, trying to you know de-dollarization all that stuff. Like that. But here's the thing. Here's the here's the interesting thing. Now I'm gonna talk like a I'm gonna talk as a as a as as an American as an American African, you know, a black person, you know, we have this whole push for reparations. You know, well, here's what here's, and then is this as this thing was happening, a lot of people were saying, hey, they giving all this money to the Ukraine. You know what I mean? That's money that could go for reparations. How could it? Well, infrastructure, in the United States. Let's stay for reparations. Well, there you go. A strategy for you know, American Africans, black people, right? Our strategy. I'm not talking about you know the Africans who come over to America and then they try to be do what the white people do or other other people that come with and step on black people. I'm not talking about that. Right? If you go for reparations, right, 
and you're and you're trying to take the money take the money back, right? That's a strategy. Just think about that. That's a strategy, you know. And so the more you push for that, the more they got to people got to start question. Wait a second, you giving all this money? To, they're not giving the money to Ukraine, by the way. They give the money toward again those experimental military things, so they can continue to have war and to uh, test there, so they can eventually apply it to the the, the, the what they call the global south, or, or you know, we all the minerals are. It's always a land grab. The land it's not really a land grab. It's, it's a mineral grab. So you got to get the land before you get the minerals, right? So they eventually turn all that stuff against the people who got the minerals. You see? Okay. So that's the thing. All you got to do is is, is just. Focus on, don't worry about the, the war is going to take care of itself. If the people that's worried about the war, just worry if you want. You know what I mean? You ain't going to stop it. I'm going to tell you right now, because they got their things in place. But what you can do is you can do some, some strategies to, 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 to make them worry. <laughs> so, so reparations is one thing. So we, you know, uh, uh, American Africans, black people, you know, you know the, 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 the formerly enslaved, you know, the, the went to the whole, the Negro, the, the antebellum, the one that owe reparations to. You know, oh, I call lineage reparations. Then, no, we stay on our square. We do that. We don't, don't worry about them. You can't do nothing about whether they're going to throw, throw a bomb here or or take the money out of there. Don't, just keep one on your square to get the reparations, right? That's your strategy for now. That's your strategy. I got other strategies. But my point is, that's what you do. <laughs> because, I mean, historically, this thing is, they, do, they keep on, they're doing it. It's the same playbook. They've done this for years. For s centuries, you know, and I, I just, I just uh, uh, heard a, a, a podcast, you know. Uh, uh, follow Joe, Dr. Joe Horn, by the way. I know you want to follow Aaron Mate and and, 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 and and Max Blumenthal in the gray zone, and and and, and Danny Hyper. You, you you can do that. I understand that, and other people, right? But uh, Joe Horn is very interesting because he gives you a perspective of, of the world, whatever have you. I mean, I agree with him about like ninety three percent of the time. Right, right there. There's some other little things that's no, whatever. But the point is, he had this really uh, interesting interview with this guy that wrote this book, basically uh, talking about uh, how religion uh, plays in, 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 in all this. Uh, maybe I'll try to cite it in the, in the notes or something like that. I just heard it this morning. And it's really interesting because you know, he comes from a perspective like, you know, uh, uh, the religion, like Dr. Crone and, 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 and politically from uh, Cedric Robinson, you know, that kind of, in, in that vein, right? But it's really fascinating, his historical perspective on this. Whoa, it's really interesting. Uh, basically, he says that, hey, you know, the, the, the church is just an organ of, how can I say it? Basically saying that, you know, the church and the state, they're all in cahoots. It's the same playbook, you know, and, and, and it's, all, it's about the prison, really. People locking people up and stuff like that. Why we have so much. Anyway, they, they, they lock people up because they, 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 they have use for them when they're locked up. Like in chain, enslaved, right? But enslaved without the chains, you know, because you're 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 locked down. You can't get out. So anyway, it's a it's a fascinating thing. Look, just just follow Dr. Joe Horn, whatever the the, the activist news network or or, or uh, KPF uh, K uh, you know Pacifica station KPF. They're on there. He's on he's a, he's on a bunch of platforms. So follow him, and uh, you know and, and see see what he's talking about, and you'll get a, a different perspective. You know, I mean, so you should do that. All right, I got to go. I got to check in. Oh, I got to check in with uh, 5150, man. I'm, 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 I got a lot to do. Talk to you later, all right? Bye.